Hi, my name is Gail. I'm from Gail's Custom Candles. And I figured today I'm going to show you um, a video of how I make my custom hurricane candles. Um, I actually embed the photo directly into the wax, um, which is different than a lot of the other um, hurricane candles. Um, but I'm going to show you kind of step by step. We'll go through the whole process and everything. Um, I hope you enjoy this video. Please leave any comments if you'd like. Um, and you can also check out my website at galescustomcandles.com. Um, thanks, and I hope you enjoyed the video. And, um, I just want to talk with um, you and kind of explain what kind of photos that I can actually do on a hurricane candle for you. Um, I can take your child's drawing. I can put a frame around it or not. I can actually put this on a custom hurricane candle for you. It'll be embedded into the wax. Um, take care of it. It will last you a lifetime. Um, you can use battery operated tea lights or votives to light this up. Um, and it's, it's just beautiful. Um, but I can do these. Um, I can take a picture of this is my granddaughter. I haven't finished cutting it out, but I can put a cute fair, uh, frame around it, background, anything. Um, I get with you. Um, we design it the way you want it. I have you approve any of the templates before I actually put on a candle. This way you get what you want. Um, I don't pick it for you. Um, but I have many designs and many different things we can do. Um, I do uh, f uh, hurricane candles for pets. You name it, I can do it and I can put on a candle for you. I have cute little fr um, frames like wanted posters and I mean anything. Like I said, we can work together and come up with any design that you want to put on this candle and have it for a lifetime. These make great gifts any time of the year. They are awesome baby shower favors. We can put pictures of sonograms on there and put the baby's name or the mom and dad's name. Um, we can do them for wedding parties. Uh, I could put the picture of their engagement photos. Anything. Anniversaries. Um, you name it. We, we could figure out a way to do it. So I just want to kind of show you the things that I can do and, and put on these candles for you. Um, in just a second, we're going to get ready to pour. Um, and I'll have you um, watch me as I pour. And then I'll show you inside the candle. Okay, so here I have my mold that is already prepped and ready to go. I'm just using a um, standard uh, 4x6 round. It is the Hurricane mold, but mine does have the um, hole in the bottom, so I have plugged it. Um, I have a nice little stand that's attached to the end of my work bench that I have a stick. It kind of holds everything in place, so I can use my um, douse to press the photo up against the mold. Um, and then right underneath it, I have my water bath, which is ready. I will uh, submerge my mold into the water, and I'm going to let it sit there for a little while get, until I get about a quarter of an inch of solid wax. Um, I like to use wooden dowels. This is what I use to get any air bubbles out um, from the photo. I have seen the tutorials where people use wooden spoons. I like the round dowels. To me, they, they work better. Um, and I already have my two very cold washcloths. Um, that's just going to help freeze a certain amount of the wax on in the mold fast and hold that photo until I get it into the water bath. I am going to pour my wax now um, and we'll check in in just a second. Alright, I've poured my wax. Um, right now it's a little warm. Don't know if you can see that. I like to wait till it's about 195 before I pour. This gives me a few minutes to go ahead and finish prepping the mold again. I'm going to go ahead and spray it with um, some silicone spray. I like to warm up the outside of the mold too. So this way, when the, even though it's hot mold or hot wax, it's going into a cold mold. And it will want to solidify on the sides. So I do heat up my mold a little bit with my heating gun. Um, I'm going to get everything else ready. I'm about to pour. Um, I'm going to put this on the tripod so you can watch. Thank you. My... Wax is at the temperature that I want. I have sprayed a little bit of silicone in this. I'm just going to um, blow a little bit of heat into this. Um, I just judge by, of course, how hot the outside gets. I always put my seam in the back. Okay, there we go. And I usually make my photos uh, between 4 and 5 inches tall. So I know just about how much to pour in. Um, I'm going to take the photo and I'm just going to drop it in. Take my dowels, push it the rest of the way in. I just kind of give it a wiggle. Start to get it aligned. Um, I have a, a, a stick here and I just tap it a little bit. Make sure, don't tap it like this, you can dent your molds. Um, but just tap it easy a little bit around and around. You're going to notice some air bubbles popping up and I take um, my dowels and I kind of Swirl it around, just make sure I get the, the air bubbles out. And try to get the um, photo as straight as I can. 
So when I get it to where I like it, I take my cold rag, and I usually start in one corner, stick it on there, and you'll see the wax start to solidify right away. And you just do this part as quick as you can. Once it's there, it's there. And I go ahead and go all the way around. This way it'll solidify it. Take my stick out of here. And I'm going to put a weight around it. And I'm going to let you look inside. And as soon as I drop it into the water bath, you'll notice that it's going to solidify even faster. All right. All right, I've just put it into the water bath. And I don't know if you can see right around there, it is starting to solidify around the edge. Now this can take anywhere from 10 to 20 minutes, depending on how cold the actual water is, of course. Um, air temperature, everything can affect anything with candle making. Um, anyone that makes candles knows this. Um, it can be very tricky. Um, but we're just going to let it sit. Um, I will show you how much uh, wax I leave on the sides as soon as it's about ready to pour out. And I'll check in in just a few minutes. Okay, we have the perfect amount now. See how it's just got that light coating on there? That's what I look for. Um, I'm getting ready to take it out. Um, let me get you on the tripod. Okay, so I have taken it out of the water. Um, you really want to make sure that you wipe all the water off of the mold before we dump it back into the Presto Pot. You just don't want any water getting into your wax. Even though the wax that I use for my Hurricanes has its own special blend that we came up with. <coughs> and is only used for the Hurricanes. Now I take my bakery knife. Um, I go through. And I get rid of, or just make a hole in the top. I'm going to dump it out. Hang on, I'll show it to you. Okay, you can kind of see in... Oh, no. that helps but you can kind of see into it right now um, I'm gonna actually let it dry um, I do the rest of the cleaning up when it's uh, when the wax hardens up a little bit now it's gonna be a couple hours so we will check back and we'll see how this one came out thanks guys I've got the hurricane candle ready to come out of the mold now I went ahead and let it sit out overnight this way I could make sure that it did solidify all the way through so the fun thing with the hurricane candles the way that I do them we do not know if everything worked out right until we actually pull it out of the mold. That's the fun part. That's also the scary part. Um, so I'm going to go ahead and flip this over and slide this out. And we get to see together how this came out. Sweet! This came out perfect. Has no seam on the side. Everything is flush. Nice and straight. This top part, of course you're always going to have that. I will go through, I will flatten it out with a knife, and then I actually use a regular iron for clothes, and I actually just go over the top really quick, and that, that's kind of my trick to get it nice and smooth, and then I just use my bigger bakery knife and go on the inside and the top to just get a nice angle. Um, thanks for watching. Please comment below um, with either questions or comments. I would love to hear from you guys. Um, thank you and hopefully we'll see you again soon on the next video. Thanks. Okay, so this is what the finished hurricane looks like with just a battery operated votive inside that they have now. These are awesome. You don't have to worry about having flames or kids or pets knocking them over came out pretty good like I said I can put anything on there for you so just give us a shout or email us at gailscustomcandles at yahoo.com hope to be hearing from you soon thank you